What's up? This is Albert Campa doing a demonstration of a Dropbox build. This is the uh, Odroid C2 uh, motherboard, uh, similar to a Raspberry Pi, but has double the RAM capabilities. The uh, two little devices there are the SS, are the micro SD and the EMC MMC uh, components for the storage. Uh, uh, we'll get to that here shortly, and then I got a case that is built uh, for Raspberry Pi, but it also works for the Odroid. And uh, for your information, check the, 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 sh the notes below on the YouTube channel for uh, Black Hills Information Security blog post that they did on this. I followed their guide. Uh, really good information there. As you can see, the uh, video output and the power, and then the USB connectors are, are there. You can see the power is a larger circle and it doesn't actually fit in uh, so we're gonna have to do some drilling and I'll get to that here shortly. It also comes with a fan, uh, the case fan that comes with it. I got a power adapter and a wireless uh, adapter as well for uh, Wi-Fi testing. So these are all the components that are, are required we're going to set it up, install it, set up a Linux distribution on the device, and uh, get it going. So here we are drilling the hole for the power supply connector. It's just to the lower uh, left of the bigger hole that came with the case. Uh, I, I lined it up by eyesight, so we had to make some little bit adjustments afterwards. So here we go on this one. So here, lining it up, installing the board back onto the case, and we'll soon here see that it's pretty well lined up. You can there you can see it, but it's a little bit high, so I do have to make some slight adjustments. I'm going to try to plug it in here and see how it fits. So it goes in, a little bit of wiggling, slightly higher. So I made some adjustments and tried to file off the, the portion of the hole so it would line up a little bit better there. in. It's a little bit more smoother, not as tight as it was before. So here we have the micro SD uh, card, which has, of course connects to the eMMC reader or adapter. And with that we'll plug it into the micro SD to USB adapter into the laptop and then flash the eMMC chip. So here it is plugged into the laptop, ready to go. Commands here are located on the Black Hills Information Security website. As it's as stated on the blog post, you want to very, be very careful of the storage device which you're doing this to. Um, SDB was the correct one for my installation. And we're done. Here we are taking the EMMC storage device out, removing it from the microSD reader, and going to stick it on the back of the Odroid uh, main board where there's a, a connection there for it. And we're good to go. It's connected there. It can be removed, so in case you want other operating systems, other installations, our distros to be used, and uh, there we go.
go, we installed it back onto the case. Plugging it in and getting ready for uh, the installation and, and uh, further configuration of Kali Linux. So here we are booting up for the first time. Logging in with the default password of root and tor. And loading it up using the default configuration. Bringing up a terminal window. And what's the first thing we do? Is change the password. There's further configuration of the uh, and of the Kali installation on the blog post at uh, Black Hills Information Security. Um, here we are with it running and in, in, uh, out of the case, still configuring it with it in the case, um, rebooting and starting it up again. So be sure to check out the other configurations uh, that are on the blog posts. Um, you know, all your tools, uh, your app kit, uh, updates and install. And enjoy your Odroid Dropbox. Happy hacking.